Hello guys, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial, in this After Effects tutorial, we are going to create this. Here you can see, I have already imported the four image files, which I will be using in this slideshow demonstration. Now let's create our slideshow, create a new composition, this will be our transition composition. Name it as transition right, width and height to, 1920 by 1080 pixels, frame rate to 30 frames per second, and time duration to 7 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create transition layer, select the ellipse tool. Now make sure fill option is set to, solid color. Stroke option is set to, none. Now create circle from the center, as shown. Perfect. For this shape layer, press P to bring up the position. Now at 4 seconds. Create keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline. Change position of this shape layer is shown. You can see the preview. Now select the created keyframes, change keyframe assistant to easy ease. Now slightly adjust the speed graph as shown. Perfect. Here our transition layer 1 is created. Similarly, we need to create it compositions for, left, up, and down. You can create individual compositions, or you can create duplicate of this transition right composition, and make required changes. Here I will create duplicate of this composition, rename it to transition left. Now open the transition composition. Here we need to make changes for the first keyframe of position, select the shape layer, now place it to the left as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now let's create another duplicate. Rename it to transition up. Open composition. Now for the start keyframe, change the position of the shape layer to the up as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now create another duplicate. Rename it to transition down. Open composition, now for start keyframe, change position for shape layer to down as shown. You can see the preview. Perfect. Here our transition compositions are ready, now let's create another composition. I will name it as slide. For this slide composition, let's add the media file to the timeline, here you can use image file as well as video file. You can scale your image if needed, here I will scale my media file. Now let's pre-compose it. Name it as media1. Select move all attributes into new composition. Now let's add the transition composition to the timeline. Here you can use any transition composition of your choice. For media composition, change track mat to, alpha mat transition. You can see the preview. 
for media composition, let's scale it to 130%. For this media composition, in effects and preset, search for fast box blur, add it to the media composition. Now at one second, create keyframe for blur radius. At two seconds, change blur radius to 20. Now at three seconds, change blur radius to 30. Press U to view created keyframes. For fast blur change iteration to 1. Select repeat edge pixels. Perfect. Now let's again add the media composition to the timeline. Now again add the same transition used before. For media composition, change track mat to alpha. Place this transition composition at minimum distance of 5 frames. Now you can see the preview. The glass transition effect is created. For this media composition, add the fast box blur effect. At 2 seconds, create keyframe for blur radius. Now at start of the timeline, change blur radius to 20, change iteration to 1, select repeat edge pixels. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new null object. Parent both the media composition to the null layer. For null, press S to bring up the scale, at start of the timeline, create keyframe for scale, and at end of the timeline, change scale value to, 115%. You can see the complete preview. Here we have just created or used on two media layers, to make it more attractive or to add more transparent layer. You just need to create duplicate of these media compositions and transition composition. Here I will create duplicate of media and transition. Now for above transition, position it 5 frames forward. You can see our transition is still not visible. To make it visible, we need to make changes in below media file, change its scale value, I will change it to, 120%. You can see the preview. Here our slide 1 is created. Now let's see how to create multiple slides. But first, we need to create the media compositions. Here you have two options, create individual media compositions and add media files, or just create duplicate of this media one composition and replace the media files. Here I will create three duplicates of this media composition. Now open the media compositions, now you can replace the media files, or you can just delete the previously added image and add new one. Perfect, here our media compositions are ready. Now let's create our slide compositions. Here I will create three duplicates of this slide one composition. Now open all the slide compositions. Now for this slide four composition, 
we need to replace these media compositions, select all the compositions. Now select the composition you want to replace with, now while pressing Alt key. Drag and drop the media 4 composition over media 1 composition, this will replace media 1 composition with media 4 composition. Now let's see how to replace the transition, select the transition compositions, now select the transition you want to replace with. Now while pressing Alt key, drag and drop this transition composition over. Perfect. Here you can see the transition is replaced. Similarly, we will do the same for slide 2 and slide 3. For slide 3, replace media 1 with media 3 composition. Now replace transition. For slide 2, replace media 1 with media 2 composition. Now replace transition. Perfect. Here you can see, 4 slides for 4 media files are ready. Now let's create a new composition. Name it as Light Leak. For this composition, I will set time duration to 30 seconds. Let's create a new solid layer. Name it as Light. For this light layer, in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to the light layer. Change fractal type to, subscale. Noise type to, spline. Change contrast to, 200. Change brightness to, minus 50. In transform, change scale to, 2000. Change complexity to 1. Now to enter time expression, while pressing Alt key. Click on stopwatch of evolution, now enter expression, time, 100. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for fast box blur. Add it to the light layer. Change blur radius to 400. Change iteration to 1. Select repeat edge pixels. Now in effects and preset, search for scatter. Add it to the light layer. Set scatter amount to 40. Perfect. Our light leak is ready. Now let's create our final composition. Name it as Slideshow. For this composition, I will set time duration to 20 seconds. If you have created more than 4 slides, then you can increase the time duration accordingly. Now let's add all the slide compositions to the timeline. Now place them at distance of 5 seconds from each other. You can see the preview. Here you can see our slide 1 ends before the slide 2 is completely reveal. To avoid this you need to adjust the position of second composition. Place it at 4 seconds. Perfect. Now we need to do the same for other compositions as well.
perfect. You can see the preview. Now let's create a new adjustment layer. For adjustment layer, in effects and preset, search for sharpen. Add it to the adjustment layer. Set sharpen amount to 20. Now in effects and preset, search for vibrance, add it to the adjustment layer. Set vibrance to minus 100. Set saturation to 100. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to the adjustment layer. Now adjust the curves as shown. From project panel, add the light leak composition to the timer line. Change mode to add. Now in effects and preset. Search for tint, add it to the light leak composition. Here you can set any color of your choice. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as mask. For this mask layer, select ellipse tool, create mask as shown. Perfect, change mode to inverted. For mask 1, change mask feather value, set it to near about 500. For mask layer, press T to bring up opacity, set opacity to near about 78%. Now let's see the preview from the start. Perfect. Here our parallax slideshow is ready. Similarly, you can add multiple slides and create your slideshow. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial.